most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. What is it with our society? We are creating weak individuals, individuals that can't handle anything going wrong in their life. As soon as something goes wrong, they are given a prescription, not to fix the problem, to mask the problem. How about giving strategies to strengthen the mind? How about saying, okay, you've allowed your life to get to this point. Now take responsibility and dive deep into personal development. Learn why you feel this way, not because of the event, the scientific facts about why you feel the way you do and what you can do to strengthen it. The moment they are criticized, rather than take any of it on board, rather than prove any of those people wrong, they give up. They attempt to defend the criticism with useless talk, but never with definitive action. The moment they are challenged, they crumble. The moment things get hard, they declare defeat. It must not be for me. It was their fault. If they didn't do this or treat me like this or say this, then I would have made it. No, you're just soft. You're weak. Tell yourself the truth, because until you do that, until you look in the mirror and acknowledge that you are the problem, you'll never be able to grow into the person that is capable of achieving all those things you want. You are the problem, the only problem. Your mindset is the problem. Your attitude is the problem. It is no one else's fault, it's yours. If you want the good news, you are also the solution. You and only you. If you have character, that statement will change your life. If you have no character, you'll remain an average complaining hater like most other people. You are your only problem, and you are the only solution. Sure, big things happen. Tragic loss, things which no one would deserve. I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about the people who are one job loss away from a breakdown. One relationship break up, away from depression. One argument ruins their entire week. Come on, people. This is not how to live. Even with the big stuff, if you have perspective, if you know who you are, if you really, really appreciate everything you do have and believe everything is as it should be, all of those big things can be handled much better. Knowing your loved one would want you to be happy and move on. Knowing that living in pain and holding on to resentment is letting that person who did you wrong win. But letting go and living your life, loving your life, that is you saying, I won. That is you saying, I will not allow you to own any, any piece of my mind and spirit. That is true courage and mental strength. And I'm not saying avoid pain. Pain, suffering, failures, they are all part of every single person's life. There's varying levels of pain for sure. Some suffer more than others, but we all suffer at some level. Some choose consciously or unconsciously to live in that pain, and some decide to move on. You deserve to move on. Mental strength comes from those struggles. It is formed from pain. It is increased when you refuse to give up at times when most others would. It grows when you keep going, when things seem impossible. It grows when you push one more time past what you thought was your limit. It grows with consistency. That is mental strength. Excuses are for weak individuals, individuals who have no heart. Take responsibility for where you are now and commit to do something, anything, whatever it takes to make sure your future is better. You do have the choice. You can make excuses and stay where you are.
Or you can take responsibility, take action, and get where you need to go, where you deserve to go. What do you choose? We tap dance around the truth by finding the right words so I don't hurt you because you have thin skin. No, tighten up, people. It's okay. Trust me, it's okay. You might be called nigger one day. It's okay. You might be called some Jewish word or some faggot or gay word. It's okay. Let them call you that. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit. And you'll read about me years from now. How? That's the question. How are you going to do that? Thicken your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror. Because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it.